we're gonna find what's called a maxima and a minima. Simply put, a maxima is the top of a hill and a minima is the bottom of a valley. But a more specific definition of a maxima is it's a point where the graph changes from going increasing or uphill to decreasing downhill. So if you're just at the top, let's say I have a line segment and I have a dot right here on the line segment and there's nothing over here, it's not a maxima because the technical definition is that it's a point where you're changing from increasing to decreasing and nothing's happening over here. So it's only going to be at the top of a hill for a maxima. And then similarly for a minima, a local minima is going to be technically where the graph changes from going downhill, decreasing, to uphill, increasing. So it's like the bottom of the valley. But if I just had a line segment that was like this and I had a dot that was like that, this would not be a local minima because it's, the graph's not changing from decreasing to increasing. So it's only gonna happen at the bottom of a valley. Okay, and then just the way they word it, when you see values of H or values of F, values of M, values of the function, it's referring to the Y coordinate or the height. And then if I see values at which H, that means what X's are causing the minimum or the maximum. So in your notes, if you're having trouble with just the wording, you might want to write down values of a function is referring to the Y coordinate and values at which H is referring to the X coordinate. Because pointing them out is really not that hard. As I look at this graph right here, you can see that this red dot is at the bottom of a valley, so it's a minima. So you're like, oh, there it is. This one here is the top of a hill, so it is a maxima. This one right here is the bottom of a valley, so it's a minima. But now actually answering the questions, it says all local minimum values of H. So a value of H, let's start actually with the minimas. So both of these are local minimums, but the way it's worded, the local minimum values, that's talking about the Y coordinate of the minimums. So we want to say that the answer is both negative three and negative five. It's the heights of the minimums. And then this one right here, all values at which so values at which is what X's are causing, at what X values is it happening? So my answer gets, are gonna be X values of the minimums. So again, both of these are minimums. And so the X values are negative two and four. So we've got those two answers. Okay, then this one says all local, all local maximum. So I'll stop there for a second. Right there's my maximum because it's the top of a hill. Values of H is referring to the Y coordinate. Like what is the height? What is the answer? If I substitute an X, what's the value of the function? So this is the Y coordinate of the maximum. So this one's gonna have an answer of negative one. And then the last question here, all values at which, so in other words, what X's create the local maximum. So here's my local maximum and they're asking us for the X coordinate. So that one is going to be one. So one more time in your notes, I would recommend writing down that if you have values of the function that you know they're referring to the y coordinate and if they say values at which h they're referring to the x coordinate